combination since meeting in 1994 at the US Open, the svelte, sophisticated and stylish Michael Mbiata have captured every amateur title on offer before turning professional with Latin American dance, in which they are currently ranked third in the world. Taking their position as amateur champions of the world, the hopes and dreams of Michael Mbiata have indeed come true, as the scoreboard reinforces the notion that practice makes perfect. Still euphoric as they take time to contemplate their remarkable achievements of sweeping the South African nationals, Michael and Beata take time to reflect on the past and look forward to the future. Everybody feels the same when you first start a partnership. Course, you have yeah. that, those nerves and the butterflies, because you never know what to expect from each exactly, other. Yeah, yeah. You want it to be perfect. Yeah. But who would have thought that from that tryout, we would have managed to become world champions? I know, so it's, isn't it? It's funny when you look back, eh? Yeah. I know that when I first started with you, I was just so excited and as much as I was nervous, it was exciting because it was yeah. such a different style. You know, we both had yeah. those different styles. Yeah, and to try and make something out of it, you know, yeah. work into something. Yeah, you know, and you look back now, it's been, what, six years already? It's yep. scary how time flies. And uh, it feels like it just was yesterday. I just feel like we don't have enough time to get to the perfection that we're looking for. It just seems as though time is just... I think it's so never quickly. enough time, yeah. And, the, you know, we're looking for that perfection, and we just, we just don't seem to get that perfection. Mm -hmm. It's frustrating, if and anything, it's... isn't it? But, you know, there's no feeling, having said that, like when we won that first British Open as amateurs. It was just... I it's think amazing, it, isn't hey, it? It wasn't just the night of your yeah. life. Fans kept the Rainbow Nations flag flying high for another special couple, Michael Wentink and Beata. They competed in the British Amateur Latin Championship. A near-perfect performance earned Michael and Beata a standing ovation from the appreciative crowd and the first British Dance Championship title to be held by a couple representing South Africa for over 70 years. To win black in the British Open is every dancer's dream. It's where all the couples compete, everybody who's anybody's at this competition and the audience and the couples and the atmosphere is just electric and it's just the best title for us to have. We just can't imagine how happy we are.
don't know what's better, that or winning the Worlds. It's kind of what this similar feeling, isn't it? I don't know, for me, winning the Worlds was, of course, it was great because it's a world title, but the British Open, it's just, with more than 500 couples, you just tend to think, wow, to actually be able to be the best out of all those couples is such an achievement. And, such, and it was also unexpected, you know? Yeah. Obviously, you always want to win, but, you know, at the time, we never knew that it's going to yeah. happen at night. Yeah. No, and I think also going to New York and that is great for us because we can get inspired by, you know, those plays and I find it very inspiring myself. Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, everybody in the world goes. Yeah, that does remind me of the time when we were in New York and we're just kind of sweeping the streets and so much fun. Do you want to have a try about that again? Yeah, let's go, friend. Let's go. <laughs> I think we did something like... That way there you can be And there you can Well, I think we should have a toast to what's been passed this year and what's to come in the Since future. their magical partnership began in the mid-1990s, Michael and Beata have taken the fledgling sport of competitive dance to new heights across the world with their grace, flamboyance and inspirational artistry as their pas de deux have made them the darlings of the dance world. <laughs> Yummy. There we go. Ooh. Thanks. Just a little each. Mm -hmm. Looks tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, this is to six years of the best six years of my life. And Likewise, definitely. I hope we have another 60 to go. Cheers, please. Cheers, Mom. Well, there's one more cheers to mm. the great partnership. Cheers, Mom. remaining the jive. Let's take another look at how the couples are faring. The powerful and athletic team of Michael Wentick and Beata remain on top. The judges rank the Cutler second. The German couple has moved up into third place, followed by the Slovenians and the Czechs. The sweat is choreographed. That's special effects. <laughs> and now our leaders, Michael and Beata. Michael and Beata are certainly the crowd's favorite tonight. <laughs> they look like they just stepped out of the shower. Look at them. They are, like, ready. They're not worn at all. The thing I love about them is how natural they make it look. You can see the music coming right out of every pore of their bodies. Sharp. They are so crazy sharp. They have the look of the champions. And those things again. Competition is key. Again, showing lots of speed, which is definitely their strong point. They're much faster than any other couple out there. Singh and Viata from South Africa. The diva herself. Some fierce dancing from those two tonight. Okay, let's do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it! Now this is dance sports equivalent to the victory lap. Here we see Michael and Beata performing an honor dance.
and his girl, Beata. From Lithuania? Correct, yes. Were you dancing in Lithuania? Yes, I've, I've been dancing since I was six. So I've been dancing for a long time, yeah. You're obviously um, going to soon, if not already, uh, be thinking about other sides of your life, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, marriage and all of that kind of thing. Doesn't the ballroom, one, because you're, you're a world champion, so you're hectic or you're always on the move, doesn't that interfere with uh, those kind of plans? Oh, yes, definitely. I think you... Some partners, they, if they dance together, they actually get married and they stay together, so it's easier in that way. But if you're not together with your partner, it's definitely much more difficult. So, good thing in my situation, Michael, is that we're quite young still, so we still have a lot of time. So, even if we still dance for six or seven years, when we finish, we're still quite young to get married and have families and that. So, that's why I'm not too worried about that yet. First, we want to get the result of what we hopefully we can get, and then in the future we'll think about What is it. the end goal for you? Well, obviously, when I be in the number one in professionals, or win the worlds and all the Grand Slam like we did in the amateur, but... Hopefully we'll do that, we'll see. Did you ever, in your wildest dreams, think that, that you would no. attain what you would attain? Oh, when you're a child, you hope, you dream, you watch the tapes about all, all the professional dancers and you think, maybe one day I'll be, hopefully, but you never think that you're going to be. And now when you're in that situation, you actually, it, it's unreal, it's unbelievable sometimes. And isn't there going to come a time when you're going to have to merge dancing and relationship? Wouldn't that mean...? It's, it's a very difficult... Yeah, probably the time will come at the moment. Everything just goes for the dancing. It's everything but sexual, is yes. it? Because it's yes. a platonic relationship. Yes. Both qualified instructors, Michael and Beata, dedicate many hours to teaching others the tricks of the trade. You're going to have to do maybe you're just going to have to do straight away one spin and wait there and then go finish it again. Just as you wait, finish it. If you have time, go more with the yeah. Okay. Before you sit on the floor, the other one, it's much easier. That's your big standing leg. So stand on this one. other ambitions you have apart from winning the world championship? Well, you just want to be the best in your cat. You just want to be the best. You want people to look at you as a role model. You want to, you know, you want to set the trends. It's, it's not always the result. You just, even if, you, let's say, you're not, you're not going to win, but if people think that you're just the best and they want to be like you, that's just the most amazing thing. But are you the best? <laughs> I think... I'm one of the best. I can't say I'm the best, but I think I'm up there, one of the ladies, yeah. Approaching every competition with an attention to detail that has become by now habitual. Their smooth, sleek ambiance bespeaks a comfortable partnership and an easy professionalism.
Michael, when you first started dancing, didn't other friends um, take the mickey? I mean, they were going to rugby, you were going to dance, wasn't it? stigmatized to a degree well dolly to be totally honest with you i think the people who were really my friends supported what i did and the ones who didn't and the ones who took the mickey i never really had much to do with anyway i wasn't really aware of that happening i mean i'm sure it was happening because dancing especially when you're going through school wasn't really the sport to be doing whereas now i think it's a different story but i think i can only look back and say how many of those particular people are world champions today so it never really bothered me what, why latin well, it was kind of interesting because when I started dancing, I went for disco classes and the teachers who I were training with, they said that maybe I should find a partner and perhaps do Latin American. And I've never looked back. I think it's such a great background for any form of dancing because you have five different types of dancers um, and each one has a different character. So you're basically getting a little bit of every kind of form of dancing. So I think it was the best choice. I don't look back at all. Let's just uh, pose a hypothetical situation. Right. You break your legs in a car accident. What are you going to miss about the dance these years? If it had to happen, I think I'd move on to something else with, probably in the entertainment business, you know, music. I love music. Physical. I love anything that's in the physical sense, in the dance sense especially. So, yeah, I think that's what I would miss the most, just being able to stand there and dance would be, to be off that competition floor, because from a young age I've been on the competition floor and that's, driven me all the year, you know, the, the next goal, and it seems as though you're striving for this perfection, which you never reach, and the closer you get to it, the further it moves away, so you never get to that perfection, and the drive is trying to get to that sort of infinity. Right. Why aren't you and Beata lovers? I think it's, it depends on different couples. There are couples who keep their partnership very separate, as we do, which is more like a business, and I think there are people who don't. Beata's like my sister. Um, we've just never gone in that direction. She's the best friend I've ever had. Um, and we, we basically live together and I think it's difficult to put the two together. We try and keep it very separate um, and treat it like a business and that's how we've dealt with it in the years. You swept the, 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 the boards the other night, won every category. Right. What, what, as far as in your mind, I mean in the judge's mind if you could think for them, what in each one put you above the others is because there were some very good dancers on right. that floor. Um, I would say there's a combination of different things. Obviously, we have a very strong reputation being third in the world. Yeah. Um, and the couples in South Africa, yes, they are very, very good, but there is still a way for them to go, um, which is exciting because South Africa does produce many good dancers. I would say the judges look at a combination of, you know, the technical side of it, the uh, charism charismatic sort of points, and. The rhythmical interpretation is all different factors and I think it's difficult because each judge looks for something different. Who are your competition? Who are the people you fear who are, who are as good as you? We have people who rank... Hi, Beata. Take hey. a seat. There are people internationally that are higher than us, obviously, at this stage. And um, funny enough, one of them is South African and he's representing Germany at the moment. So these are people we're targeting at for the future. Let's play a little truth game here. Oh, okay. I'd like, I'd like, I'd like you to uh, turn to Beata, and I'll ask you to do the same afterwards, and tell her what aspect of her dancing is weak, or needs improvement, or irritates you. What, what does she, what does she have to stop doing, or what does she have to improve on? Oh well, I think Beata is very complete in every way. It would be very, very unfair of me to say there was anything that. I found wrong with you or things that irritated me because over the years we've managed to to iron out those differences so at this stage I can say she's absolutely the dream partner and I'm very very pleased in every aspect I'm sure there is something oh. <laughs> come on <laughs> is very you're very quiet in comparison to myself and I suppose if you were looking for something extra I would say to be a little more powerful in that way but I'm not sure I'd like that. I think I like the combination that we have. I think it complements each other. Now, be nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> and Beata, is a side of, of his dance uh, that, that you find needs improvement? I don't think it's, it, it's so much needs improvement. It's just because we're so different in physics, he's very powerful as a person as well and as a dancer and I'm much more less power sometimes I, t I find it difficult to it is a little bit too much for me I need a little bit less like sometimes I feel it's a little bit 
too much power, but it's not like it's a big thing for me, but if it was a bit less, it would be... Well, that's ridiculous. I can't believe that. This is outrageous. <laughs> and when, when down times come, what are normally the reasons? Just in the connection sometimes, if it's a little bit too much, you find that your balance goes a little bit and it's difficult, you have to really fight for it to stay on it. And it's just in general, just a little bit lighter. I would have to say that connection is every partnership's nightmare because you're two different people with two different moods every single day. And obviously physique-wise we're very different, so mine can be a lot more powerful, Beata is a lot less um, in a connection form. And I think it's very difficult to find that 100%. And once you've had it once, anything after that yeah. feels terrible. A very slight very difference. You're of each other, aren't you? Absolutely. <laughs> Why? I think if you spend 24 hours a day with somebody, you tend to become very protective and almost possessive of each other. We're very, we, yeah, we're very, we take care of each other in different ways and we're just the best friends you can have. And I think that is the ideal way of having a great partnership. partnership yeah. That's what a partnership is about. Dancing, 50%. How you get along, how you work together, is the rest. So it's business? It's business. But personal business? Personal <laughs> business and a great friendship, and I think that's, that's what makes it work. Michael Piazza, thank you very, very much. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, with Tobacco, Poboco, and Grant Esterhazy. <laughs> thank you. So both of you, thank you very much. All the best in thank the future. You. I hope those feet keep moving the way they have been. Thank, thank you. you. Lovely thank to you. see you. Thank you very Michael. much. Good to see you. Thank you very much. And congratulations Thanks again. So Wonderful being on your show. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Wentink and Beata. May God be with you. Good night.